So, three organisms. Which three of which of the three are more closely related? A dolphin, a shark, and a human. If you want to pause for a second to figure that out. Or watch the video and you'll find out the answer to that solution later. Brought to you by Curious Moranland. And what I want to do is, in this video is talk about patterns of natural selection. So, we're going to do convergence, also called convergent evolution, divergence, or divergent evolution, and co and um, coevolution, adapt in adaptive radiation. I'm probably going to do a second video based on this one right here. So, so adaptive radiation first. This is a pretty much famous uh, chart. It's been used. It goes from the Jurassic all the way up through here, and I'm just going to stop to make sure my video is going. Okay, yes. All right, so these are notes from my class. If you're one of my students, I would pause it at each one of these slides. So when it says branching out, one of the things we do is we'll talk about in class, we'll look over here and we'll say, all right, at this point, they're the same species. And here, between here and here, there are different species. Let's use another one. Uh, same species, but once we're here, where you see 6 and 17, they are now different species. It looks like this one emerged, and this species right here is continued. And unfortunately for this one, it became it's extinct. That sometimes happens. Sometimes, like in the case of the human and chimpanzee, they diverged, but both species are still here. So, two new terms. After we talk about adaptive radiation, divergence and convergence. Now I have a couple slides for each one of these and they're more closely related and they're going to become dissimilar as they go to different habitats. Now this is a slide showing homologous structures but you could use this to talk about um, say different types of canines in different parts of the world or bears. The black bear, the uh, Virginia black bear is one, the Kodiak bear, the, the brown bear, the grizzly. Some people say they're all the same but they're different names because of different locations. So that's divergence, and here's another elaboration on it. I'm going to show you a little hand gesture in a second. Um, so divergence, another way of looking at it, and a lot of people merge these two. Divergent evolution is when the species are more closely related, but here's the key thing, as they adapt to changes in their environment. Um, and they share common homologous structures. That's what, that's what makes them common. That's what makes them more closely related even though they may be using homologous structures that help them adapt to their, their environment. Again, evolution is not organisms saying, I'm going to change. That's what Lamarck would say. Um, and Darwin would say there's variation in species and favorable traits lived on. Now, we're, we're, we're probably not even going to use the term vestigial structure anymore. We're going to start saying gene expression or genes are turning on and genes are turning off. So here's conversion. So they're distantly related, but they be look alike because of common habitats as they adapt to similar habitats. So convergence, take a look at this. So the word to use for them would be analogous, like analogous structure versus homologous. They have similar environments, similar evolution, but they're not from the same common ancestor, unless you want to go way back. So. Let's talk about it like this. The answer to the question is a human and a dolphin are more closely related because they're both mammals. And I'll have students say, no, a shark, they look alike, therefore they must be alike. That's an old paradigm and it doesn't work that way. So the shark and the dolphin are more closely related because of convergence. The human and the, and the dolphin are vastly different now on the surface, but they have a closer common ancestor. So, just to show you some streamlined, um, here's the, they're all these are all different species. You got a fish, you have a aves, a bird, a mammal, and they all have a streamlined body because they're in the same type of environment. Streamlined bodies. Okay. Before I talk about that last one and close the video, 
one last one last little gesture. So if you like this, my risk, they're the same species. This is divergence. Where my fingers are here, that's divergence. Common ancestor, different because of different habitats, and they have favorable traits that survive. The genes that turned on help them better survive. This is, all right, divergence. They may look more closely related, but they started from farther off distant points. They, that's convergence. So divergence, convergence, and here's another one, adaptive radiation. Each one of my fingers is a divergent point, divergent, divergent, divergent point. So adaptive radiation and divergence kind of go together. So one last point, coevolution. Okay, so these organisms are not related at all, but they interact because in ecology, organisms are going to inter interact. They have their niche. And as one evolves, the other one evolves. And again, back to my mantra, as they adapt to changes in their environment, selection pressure puts that on them so that they can adapt and, and survive and reproduce. That natural selection is differential reproductive success. Not all the organisms survive, but the favorable traits do. And that's pretty much what this does right here with coevolution. So this is going to conclude this video. I'm going to do a separate video on speciation and punctuated equilibrium and gradualism. So in this video, you should have seen an explanation of convergence, divergence, and adaptive radiation. Brought to you by Curious Moranland. Thanks for watching.